No, the waiting is only a um, formality. formality. See? It's only we get the weight is a formality. When you fight, you want to fight uh, all the way, the Godzilla, all the bigger fighters. So no, no much confidence. And uh, it went to the scorecards. Were you, were you pretty confident you were going to get the win? I was really interested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, every time you go to the ring, you, have, you must be confident. Okay, great. And uh, just, were you happy with your performance tonight? Yes, but always say that uh, I can do better. Always, always after fighting. What was the game plan heading into the fight? In this game, in this fighting, we changed our stance with my coach Lorenzo Borgomeo. I can do both. Uh, both stands, orthodox and softball, but uh, in the match analysis we we com we um, we we see that the, he's a good uh, fighter from the middle distance. So we decided to make this fight in softball stance to have more distance and control him. This was a very fun fight. If you do in fact win the fight tonight, uh, what would winning an extra fifty thousand mean to you? Because maybe get a bit of the insurance bonus if I of the night. <laughs> To have more money to do and more, more, uh, more energy to do this, uh, this martial journey that is fighting. He looked more than happy to, to stand and bang with him, but after he was starting to kick the midsection and start to work the kicks, it looked like you turned to, to the takedowns. Were those kicks of his really starting to take effect? Hai ricevuto dei colpi al corpo e poi sei passato ai takedown. Quei colpi al corpo hanno, hanno influenzato il fatto che ho dovuto portare a terra dai sofferti? No, in my opinion, you have to leave inspiration to take down when you, when you see it. No? You don't never have to get tired trying to take down someone. Only if you feel taken down, go to the take down. So I feel the opportunity to take him, to take him down and I take, it, I take it him down. And there was one point where your arm, he had, he was going for an arm lock. Was your arm in any danger at that no, point? No, no, no. If you see my debut, I take a very hard uh, Kimura, no? And now I am, I trained a lot the defense in this with my grappling coach and best European Jiu-Jitsu fighter, Luca Anagorita. Who would you like to fight next? I don't know. I won't fight uh, in October here in Vegas. Again. There's a lot more Italians doing well across uh, Europe and now the UFC. Carlo Cosoli now in the UFC and yeah, yeah. champions all across Cage Warriors. Why, uh, why is Italian MMA, uh, I guess, on the rise right now? Well, uh, you know, um, MMA is a, a new sport. No? And uh, you know, like Rocky Marciano does in boxing, uh, he make big the, the sport. Now Italy will do the same, Italian fighters do the same. So I don't know where is the where will be the new Rocky Marciano, but Italy will, will make a new Rocky Marciano in this year. In your last fight, uh, your opponent Olawali Bamboshi was very timid. He didn't uh, move forward. How happy were you in this fight that Julian, your opponent, uh, tonight uh, gave you very much and permitted you uh, to be able to do Yeah, yes. I uh, oh, fighting uh, is all my life, but that, that fa this, fa this fight was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Just a lot of fun. A lot of fun.